all the food we ate on Celebrity Apex. We'll show you everything that we had for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We will also tell you our favorites. That's right. We did the research on the Celebrity Apex Cruise, the delicious, delicious research. Yes. So you can plan your delicious journey. It was our pleasure. Let's start with the dinner. Starting off with Le Petit Chef, a very magical specialty dining experience. It has a show on the tabletop, an animated show with a little but chef, a Le Petit Chef. It's a very cute little petit chef. That's right. Uh, there's the standard show menu that goes along with the show, or for each course, you can choose an alternative item, which we'll show you those. We'll show you both. Yes. First course is the burrata salad. Mmm. Yeah. It's with uh, fresh mozzarella, mm -hmm. cheese with a balsamic glaze, and fresh field greens with tomatoes is so good that's right and that's part of the show so you'll see the little chef prepare that i went with the alternative item which was the marinated tomato salad a little petite to tomato salad with a, a very special ham prosciutto prosciutto okay mm -hmm. second course and i had the bula base mm -hmm. it's a seafood soup it was really good rich creamy tomato with garlic and mm -hmm. seafood. I had the alternative item, the sautéed chicken, which was a generous piece of chicken uh, with, a, with a nice sauce, uh, well prepared, along with some vegetables. Third course, roasted lobster. Part of the show, beautifully prepared, a rich buttery sauce, along with some little crispy accompaniments. So good, so good. And you went with the alternative item. I, yes, I went with the filet mignon. Perfect size piece of meat for me. Mm -hmm. Cooked excellent with medium rare, which mm -hmm. I like. And uh, fresh roasted veg vegetables like potatoes and you know, carrots. That looks really so good. good. I know you really enjoyed that. Um, now let's show them the dessert. We both got this, right? Um, this is the animation. Here's the little petit chef. Right. He comes out of his igloo with his sleds, two sleds on skis, and he's flying around. This is the actual show you see on the tabletop. So just to give you a reference, it's not it's not gonna give you the full experience. Seeing it in person is much better. But this is the actual plate, fork, um, glass, all the everything you see on there, except for what the chef is doing with the snowball that he turned magically into a scoop. A vanilla ice cream. That's right. And now he's getting ready to add to that. And this is, I believe it was my plate, across the table. Joy had a little petite chef doing the same thing on her plate. Mm -hmm. And here comes... Raspberries. Yes. This is going to be good, I can tell. Then he's bringing out a little hose, a chocolate hose, and uh -huh. he's spraying chocolate sauce on the plate. Oh, that looks good. Uh-huh. And... To add to that, a little bit of whipped cream. Whipped cream, yes. yes. Oh, Le Petit Chef. So this show, uh, they have different shows during the sailing. There's a couple different shows they do. This is one of them. Of course, this is just the dessert. He's getting ready now with the, I think this is like a wood chipper. Yep. But he's putting peanuts in there, and they're getting chopped up and put onto the dessert. Yep. And... We recommend that you try and do this the first night because it's less crowded. Good so point. you can watch out for the chocolate syrup. Oh no, oh. he stepped in it. Left his <laughs> footprints. So the first night, much much quieter, less crowded. Right. Easier to get a reservation. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. The, we were told that was uh, the way to go, and coincidentally, that's what we did. So that worked out well. There was uh, empty tables even. Yeah, it was nice. Later in the cruise, was not the case. Mm-hmm. And here we go. He put on an added thing that's not actually on our plate. This little pyrotechnic device, which if you see what happens, I think it's a good thing we didn't have it yeah. uh, uh, across the restaurant. Because this could have endangered our, our our cruise ship. And no no little petite chef were harmed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, 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 oh no. Yeah, there was quite a panic in the restaurant when uh, the Le Petit Chef went on I was board. so scared for him. I'm like, oh no. Yeah. So here's but the... he's fine. Yeah. And here's the, here's the final product. This is the actual dessert. And you can see they even added his little 
footprints. Chocolate footprints down yep. at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is an alternate dessert, and I guess you'd got the alternate dessert though, right. didn't you? Right. I. I tried the creamy rice pudding, and I've never had rice pudding until then. And it's very similar to tapioca pudding. Yeah. And they brought in, uh, it was with berries and granola. Sure. It was really good. Yeah. Before we continue, please like this video. Hit the thumbs up. That's below. Yes. Now let's move on to one of the main dining rooms. Included in the price of the fare, the Tuscan restaurant is the Italian main dining room. It's yep. one of four main dining rooms to choose from. And I wanted to try something that was on the uh, Italian menu because they have special items that are included for that themed restaurant. And then they have some items that all the MDR share. I had the Tuscan roasted pumpkin salad with burrata. So mm -hmm. I, I had my burrata, you had the burrata the night before. Mm -hmm. Roasted pumpkin was really good. Nice, nice, healthy serving. Nice, healthy salad. Um, very good. And you had? I had the French onion soup, and I love French onion soup, and they did it perfectly. It was rich, beefy onion soup with a layer of melted cheese. Mm. So good. With soaked in croutons. So yummy. Tuscan restaurant is Italian. I decided to try the pappardelle alla venezinana i can't say that right it's chicken it's chicken <laughs> with asiago cheese sauce on delicious pasta uh fresh made pasta delicious cheesy sauce and big chunks of chicken it was really good yeah and they came around with the parmesan yeah. Yeah. grinder i had the tuscan turkey parmesan mm. what they did is they took a big piece of turkey and they pounded it out and mm -hmm. then they breaded it and cooked it and yeah. then put spaghetti sauce yeah. on top of it or marinara, marinara sauce, sauce it was so good it was served with spaghetti noodles with homemade yeah. like noodles uh -huh. they were just made that day nice and for dessert i went for the tiramisu good classic rendition of the tiramisu with with plenty of of uh, chocolatey espresso-y uh, lady fingers and cream so good and i tried the kiwi sorbet because by that time i i was so full that i couldn't think of eating something like tiramisu so i tried the right. kiwi sorbet it and that was, was nice and light and delicious good another main dining room we tried on another night is the mediterranean main dining room and that's cyprus the cyprus restaurant again including the price of your fare I had the Cyprus Greek Mezzi board, and that had um, hummus, it had pita bread, had olives, grape um, leaves, grape leaf, uh, wrapped dates, I believe it mm -hmm. was, and all kinds of different objects. It was like a little uh, uh, charcuterie. charcuterie plate. Yeah, a Greek <laughs> charcuterie plate. It was yeah, very good. Yeah, it was good. really good. So I recommend that if you're looking for something uh, reminiscent of Mediterranean food. And I got the grilled octopus. Huh. And with that came with a little bit of beans and fava beans and a little salad with mm -hmm. um, a mayonnaise lemon sauce. It was mm -hmm. so good. For my entree, I had the Greek style slow braised lamb shank. And I'll tell you, that meat was so tender, so, so tasty, so flavorful with a delicious gravy and it was served over potatoes. The meat just fell off of the bone. It was, it was so very soft. Good. Yeah. yeah. And you had? I tried the broiled salmon, and I'm not normally a. F I don't normally like to get fish, but broiled salmon sounded really good, and it was crispy mm -hmm. salmon skin, and and it was delicious with the lemon mm -hmm. juice on it and the mixed vegetables. It was so good. Right. And for dessert, I had the apple pie a la mode, which I think you can get at all the MDRs, but it was very good. Nice, flaky, uh, crisp uh, uh, crust and um, delicious, flavorful chunks of apple served with ice cream, of course. Well, let's move on to the next MDR we tried. Uh, we, all, we tried three out of four of the MDRs, and the third one we tried was a cosmopolitan restaurant. And this, I would basically say, is the most traditional, uh, typical uh, main dining room style. Um, and we both started off with the same thing for appetizer, right? Right, the salmon gravelax. Mm -hmm. It's so it's salmon without the bagel. It's a lox. Yeah. So it's salmon it pl with cucumber and some mayonnaise. It was really good, but yeah. seasoned really nicely. Mm -hmm. That was that was good. Uh, if you like fresh uh, salmon, like Joy says, the lox, uh, lox and bagel style salmon, it's really good. 
And for my entree, I had the pan seared cod. Nice and crispy skin, tender fish, and uh, a good sauce. Um, you had I, once again, you had fish I, too. Once again, that salmon was so good that I just wanted it again. So I, I got the same thing, broiled salmon. Mm -hmm. And it, it also had crispy skin, and mm -hmm. it was so good. Even yeah. the second time around. Yeah. And then for dessert, I had the Baked Alaska, a cruise classic, and they, they was executed very well. Again, I don't know if you had dessert. I did not have dessert because <laughs> yeah, I was so full by then. Yeah, and I should mention the fourth uh, main dining room included complimentary uh, restaurant for dinner is the Normandy Restaurant. It's a French MDR, and we did not dine at that particular uh restaurant just there was too many other places to eat at yeah um one of them was a specialty dining spot and that was the fine cut steakhouse oh and i got this crab cake it was so huge i mean the plate doesn't give it how thick and big it was i mean you could have had two of those as a meal it was so good yeah it was breaded lightly and you could when you opened it up it was hot with the uh -huh. The crab meat you could see in there. So you're saying the picture doesn't do it justice, no, but partly not because at all. it's it's not just decent sized, uh, width wise, but but uh, uh, thickness. It's it was quite thick. Right. So they were very generous. Yes. I had the lobster cocktail, uh, not quite as big as the uh, crab cake, um, but very tasty with uh, fresh fruit. And it's hard to see, but there is lobster in the dish. Um, but if you're really hungry, you might want to go for the Crab cake. crab cake. Oh, yeah. crab cake was so good. And of course, I I had for my main course, filet mignon. It's the right size piece of meat for me and that they cook it so well with mm -hmm. medium rare, with um, some au jus sauce on it. It was mm -hmm. so yummy. Good. And I usually go for a ribeye, but I saw that they had a dry aged steak. They had a dry aged New York steak. Uh, and I always go for a dried steak if they have it. It's so much flavor, so good. Uh, I do recommend that. And we were able to select sides too, right? Right. I chose the um, sautéed mushrooms mm -hmm. and the tater tots. You chose mm -hmm. the Gruyere potato. Yeah. Cheesy tater tots. They were really good. Yeah, they, they were, were so quite good. I have to say that kind of cheese. That's Gruyere or however you say it, but uh, so tasty. It was a yeah. great accompaniment to the steak. I was, should have asked for more. Oh, they were so good. We had plenty to eat, though. And I finished up with the fine cut apple walnut cobbler served in a little iron skillet, nice and crispy with a scoop of ice cream on top. It's just. It, it's so cute. Yeah, I love it. Very good. And, <laughs> and they surprised me with a anniversary cake, a chocolate mousse anniversary cake. It was yeah. it was very cute. And of course, I tried it, and it was so sweet and so rich that I could feel it in my cheeks. Oh no. It was that yeah. sweet. <laughs> yeah, so, it, and this is, of course, not on menu, but the chocolate cake with the chocolate mousse uh, is what they served us as a congratulations for our anniversary. So this is just a reminder um, to let them know before your cruise or as soon as you get on board, let them know that you're celebrating something special because they may surprise you at one of your meals. Yeah, yeah. it was a nice surprise. It was. And then we went to Raw on 5. That's right. And there we got, I, I, I focused on the appetizers because the pork belly sounded really good. I tried it. It was, um, it was good. It wasn't as good as I've had other places, but that was pretty good. What I really liked, though, was the crispy shrimp, just lightly, lightly uh, battered, and um, the shrimp was cooked perfectly. So good. I, I probably should have ordered another serving of them. So yeah. tasty. I like a spring roll because I was been eating such heavy, mm -hmm. rich food that I wanted a spring roll. And spring rolls are not cooked. They're just rolled in, in, in uh, rice paper mm -hmm. with... With shrimp and vegetables and noodles, it's yeah. really good. They have those little rice noodles and those little mm -hmm. white noodles. Yep. Yeah, very light, um, tasty. So yeah, that was a good choice. Um, then we had a bunch of sushi. Oh yeah, we had, we had I think three, three or four three types or four. of sushi, yeah. and that was a lot. <laughs> yeah, and but we we, we kind of just shared those. Um, plenty of sushi. The, the Ron Five also has uh, fresh uh, shellfish. In fact, you can get um, the, the fruits de mar, the, the tower of different uh, shellfish. Uh, we saw someone at a table near us. Yeah. Um, but we focused on the sushi and uh, it was really good. Because we like sushi. Yeah. If we went back again, maybe we'd do the shellfish. But yeah. um, really good food there. Um, 
Now let's give you, before we move on to lunch, let's talk about our recommendations for dinner. What do you recommend? What's so for a date night or for a, a kid's family meal, I highly recommend the La Pete Chef mm -hmm. because it's it's a show at your table, on your table, mm -hmm. and you can't go wrong with the filet mignon. It's always so well done. Yeah. I've never had a bad filet mignon. It's yeah. always been so good. So. And that's your, your pretty much your favorite kind of steak. That's your go-to. But yeah. Yeah, the combination of the Le Petit experience uh, with the Le Petit Chef on your table and the ability to order from the alternative menu, get the um, filet mignon that mm -hmm. was uh, right up your alley. Yes. So for me, my recommendation from dinner was at the Cypress Main Dining Room, the complimentary dining location, to get the Greek-style slow-braised lamb shank. So tender, so flavorful. Oh my gosh, I, I, I wish I could order that again right now. But right <laughs> You're now- You're making me hungry. Yeah, but right now, I'm gonna ask you to smash the subscribe button below for more cruise food, cruise tips, and cruise day fun. Now let's go to lunch. Yum. And for lunch, we basically went to the Ocean View Cafe, uh, which is a buffet, and I gotta say, I am not a guy who's big on buffets. That's usually my last choice on board any ship, but they, Celebrity does the buffet so well uh, that on Celebrity Apex, the, the buffet, every meal we went there, they had so many great options. And it wasn't any bottleneck situations. Mm -hmm. How you get in some buffets where it's a bottleneck and you're mm -hmm. like, yeah, you have a pillar or a corner. It's but, laid out. Well. And they have, they have like national areas such as Indian. Mm -hmm. My favorite was the Indian because it was spicy and mm -hmm. you could get lentils. So I have a, an Indian plate right there. It's yep. lentils with um, tandoori chicken and uh, chicken curry. It was really good with yep. some lentil salad. And I like to go to the back of the buffet, at the very back of the ship there, and get the freshly prepared pizza. They do the pizza very well. Um, of course, they have other options, too. Yep, they have a wonderful salad bar, so I always like going to the salad bar and getting my choice of vegetables and making a good salad. Yep. And then you, you, this is another plate that has garlic bread, because I love garlic bread. Mm -hmm. And there's noodle salad, so it's just... Yeah. It was a lot to choose from. So many was, options. I love going to the buffet. And I remember a couple of times you went and compiled, compiled your My own, own cheese plate. Oh yeah, they had like blue cheese, um, gouda, mm -hmm. some brie, it was so good. Yeah, and they also have a bakery stand which has uh, some fresh baked, baked goods there. Um, they bake everything except for the gluten-free bread. Everything else is baked fresh on the ship. We did the behind the scenes tour and saw them baking and preparing the um, the, the uh, breadsticks there. Yeah. Um, but a lot of different foods from quiche, salads, uh, roasted potatoes, comfort food, and of course. The desserts were amazing. Mm -hmm. I That was a strawberry cheesecake. And the other one is a chocolate pudding kind of mousse mm. deal. It was so good. Okay. But they're... They're perfect because they're single, single serving sizes, so yeah. you don't feel like you're eating a whole lot. <laughs> Psychology. Exactly. And I had the opera cake, which was so good, and my favorite thing in the whole buffet, probably at least for lunch, was that um, uh, for dessert was the chocolate bread pudding. So oh. good. Uh, I like bread pudding. It's, I know it's not for everybody, but the chocolate bread pudding, they did an awesome job. I must have missed that. <laughs> so, but let's let's go through what is your top recommendation for lunch? My top recommendation is Indian food. They have mm. a beautiful Indian option of curry and tandoori chicken yep. and lentils. It's really good. Okay. And if you don't like that, then go to the salad bar. They have this huge salad bar that you can choose your toppings, your dressings, and you can't go wrong. Right. And my top recommendation, aside from that chocolate bread pudding, the for, for the lunch, for the actual meal, pizza. Oh, the pizza is so good. Freshly made. You can't go wrong. What a great lunch. We were really surprised about how good the food was. Yeah. I mean, I hate to say this, but it's even better than... The other cruise lines, yeah, they had better well, food. As far as the buffet goes, at least, 
uh, definitely, it's it's my favorite buffet on any of the, what, six cruise lines we've been on. Yeah. yeah very good. Well done. So let's go to the most important meal of the day. Yes, my favorite. Breakfast. And breakfast. we're going to show you buffet food too, but we got to start off with first breakfast from yes. room service, right? Right. So what could you get from room service? Room service, we you could get like a continental breakfast, mm -hmm. get a fruit plate, some cereal, some juices. You could also get some pastries like muffins, croissants. Right. So a lot of good food. Yeah. Uh, you, you, I know you like to get your bagel. Bagel and lox mm -hmm. salad, so or a sandwich. Yep. So that was really good. Yep. You can put it together. And they had all kinds of different cereal, different uh, baked goods like the bagel, like Joy mentioned, and muffins. Um, again, you could get a variety of different fruits, and I got my morning coffee. Mm -hmm. So good. And then after that, we would head back to the Ocean View Cafe, the buffet, and get a hot breakfast. Mm -hmm. Some days we just did that, but you could go there and you could get scrambled eggs. Uh, you could get eggs any style. Poached eggs, scrambled eggs, fried eggs, bacon, bacon and bacon, and French toast. A uh, lot of delicious breakfast op options at the buffet. Oh, yeah. There's also fruit, mushrooms, potatoes, and they have pancakes and i love pancakes so so yep. yummy with good stuff mm -hmm. and they also had an english breakfast section at the buffet in the mornings and i did that a couple mornings like here's a plate where i got the bangers uh the the, the red beans tomato mushroom scrambled eggs now i did skip the blood pudding uh true english breakfast would include that but i skipped it and probably the strangest thing i found on the buffet was how they did their uh, biscuits and gravy biscuits and gravy with sliced link sausage which is kind of strange it tasted good but it just was not the way i'm used to having that and i got grits or oatmeal i love the fact that they had a, a toppings bar for the grits or oatmeal it was wonderful mm -hmm. so i put brown sugar honey um, nuts on it it was, it was fun to top the grits or oatmeal and that's a plate of showing of fruit and bread with some um, beans and you I always took a whole bunch of fruit and mixed it in with the homemade yogurt that they have that little glass is yogurt oh fresh yeah. made on the ship nice mm -hmm. so yummy don't get any fresher than that yeah and they also had a station in the mornings for eggs benedict you go there and they would prepare the poached eggs for you and fresh fresh hollandaise sauce on the english muffins or they had variations you could get too so good yeah and of course the bakery items they, they had cinnamon bread mm -hmm. uh, croissants Yum. pastries oh apple pastry that's yeah. so good so my favorite breakfast recommendation is get grits or oatmeal and go to the toppings area mm -hmm. and then also grab one of the fresh made yogurts and grab a little bowl of fruit so you can mix the yogurt and fruit together it's so nice. delicious yeah and my recommendation would be those poached eggs and did I forget to mention bacon? <laughs> Poached eggs, um, possibly as Eggs Benedict with bacon, bacon, and bacon. Yeah. For more on Celebrity Apex, watch this video next. Thanks for watching.